Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today I want to talk about something that one of my clients and I have been discussing for about the past four months. She went through a really, really tough breakup and she's given me permission to talk about this because it's something that affects everybody when they're dealing with the ending of a love situation. None of it is ever easy to go through. I don't care if you're the one that ended it or you're the one that was left to pick up the pieces as to what happened, why you broke up. But there's always something that comes out of it. So this, this topic today is titled, Thank You for Breaking Up With Me. Now, she was very, very hurt and thought that, you know, how's, how am I going to meet anybody else? You know, this person, I love them so much. I'm never going to meet anybody to love to that degree again. But she, when we started talking about everything, she understood that it was more important to have loved somebody and been loved by somebody that at least she knew what it meant. So she could take that on it, you know, what she learned from that situation into another relationship down the road. I think it's very important to understand that about yourself, that you can love and you can, you know, be able to let somebody else love you. Those are very important things that a lot of people just take for granted. There's a lot of us that are stuck in our lives, and I include us because I was there many, many years ago. When you have a situation that you grew up in that maybe wasn't quite the norm, um, maybe what your friends had in their home life or what they had in any part of their life. Depending on the foundation of your younger years and where you came from and how much love was in your life will probably be the deciding factor on how you make some of your choices going forward. And a lot of us have to go through a few learning curves before we get it right because of where she came from, she didn't have a happy home life. So for her, this was a really big thing that she can take with her from the relationship. She has now seen that there really wasn't a huge connection between the two of them. And when we're really hurting deeply in the beginning of a breakup, we don't see that. We just say, oh my God, this is the most horrible thing I've ever felt in my life. I'm never going to get over it. But you do. And it takes time to try and figure out all those things you learned in the process of being with them and breaking up with them. What was the bigger problems in their relationship was that they just weren't as compatible as she thought they were. She had a very sexual connection with him early on. And so what happened is she got involved in that sort of situation first, which is quite common in a lot of relationships. Chemistry is very important and when people fall in lust very quickly, it can distort a lot of your thinking in other areas. She also said that what she really noticed the most was she started looking at herself differently after the breakup. She started saying to herself, I'm not really the same person I was when I was with him. I'm more mature now. I'm more responsible. I know what I want and I know what's important to me. These are really big steps to go through after a breakup because sometimes it can take you a long time to get there, to believe that this is, you know, what's going to happen and tra transpire in your life. Sometimes it takes talking to other people, whether it's a really close friend or a coach like myself or a parent or an aunt or, or somebody that you trust that you can open up with. I really, really stress that you do talk to people because I think sometimes with breakups, we hold so much of it in that we don't put enough of it out there to release it. So we, we hold it in and it, we take it into the next relationship. It also made her respect herself more. She said that the dealing with all of this stuff and the hurt and, and being mad and angry and all that stuff, she said that she does learn to respect her feelings more and the fact that she's allowed to feel that. She's allowed to be that person and, and have those moments of, of anguish and anger and hurt and, and 
crying and and she took ownership of that and she respected herself for doing so and I think that this is something that everybody can learn from that you do need to grieve for any breakup that you go through she also said that it gave her more boundaries so now she knows where she needs to put them where they need to come into her life and she now is happier because she gets that sometimes she was maybe a bit walked over a little bit of a doormat at times her words and so now she has boundaries and the final thing that she, that we've been talking about is that she is now so happy that she was with that situation that 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 guy because it's led her to the relationship she's in now she needed time to vent, get this emotions out of her so that she didn't take baggage and stuff into the next relationship. So she's very happy. She wanted me to share this with you because she says there's so many people that get stuck after a breakup and just feel worthless or feel like they're never going to have love again. But she wants to thank the guy that broke up with her for sharing the time that he did with her because it taught her all those things we just talked about. So next time you have a breakup situation and you're feeling just oh, like beside yourself, destitute, oh, whatever you're feeling at the time, know that in a few months from now, things will be a little bit better and you're going to have some clarity on why you're not together. But you're also gonna see that there were some really good things that you took from the relationship moving forward. Thanks so much, everyone. Please don't forget to like the video, comment if you have any comments. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.